So the regenerative shock absorbers aren't exactly a new idea. However, we have taken it a bit further by being able to use a regenerative shock absorbers and looking at them from a more systemic level to actually turn them into self-protecting shock absorbers and also into shock absorbers that can tune themselves for better ride. The cost effectiveness is something that we have working our advantage because in a solar car context, the vehicle itself is an expensive vehicle to start off with, but also capturing as much energy as possible becomes worth it because they're such high efficiency vehicles. So it's essentially taking a shock absorber, but instead of letting all of that energy turn into heat, we actually capture it and convert it into electricity. My name is Islam al Mushkab, and I'm working on the Regen Shockers. A maximum force is felt through the gears. And once this, is, once this has been reached, um, the damping ratio will be reduced. Thus, the force going through the gears will also be reduced. When you go over a curb, that's the scenario of getting the max stress. So the control system will sense this, and it will reduce the damper ratio within the actual motor itself. And this happens by uh, adjusting the current going through. So once this happens, the force is decreased because there's not as much damping and there's not as much resistance. So it can handle the stresses.